Welcome back. If you missed the first half of the show, you can find it as well as all of the archives of MWR Life on Air at youtube.com slash fortcampbell101. With me now is one of the editors of the MWR Life magazines. Welcome back to the show, Cindy. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I have to tell you, because I've been going to the aquatic boot camp, I love the cover of the family magazine. It's our own Jennifer Wick, who's one of our fitness center managers. That's right. And what we're talking about is that you can go to the indoor pool year round. Uh, there's never a too cold season for the indoor pool. I was out there just last week and um, was some really amazed at the temperature that it was outside that the pool was actually comfortable to get in and I wasn't shivering. So. Uh, right. It's it's comfortable year round. And there's all kinds of programs at the pool. There's swimming lessons and water aerobics, lots of things to Lap do. Swimming, recreational swimming, and their aquatic boot camp, which Jan has told us they can uh, intend to continue having. That's good because I loved it. <laughs> Now, the Single Soldier magazine has a soldier on the cover. Tell me a little bit about it. It is. Our... It's, it's Sergeant Harker Road, and he is our hometown hero for November. And he shares with us his passion for volunteering and for Japanese motorcycles. Now, Mignon Deesom was just here talking about holiday travel and how holiday certificates make a great gift, you know, or even just taking the family away for cruising. I know you're a big fan of travel, but also holiday food. Tell me about the, the things in the magazine. Well, this year we went a little different. Um, people, a lot of people do the turkey or the ham and the fixings for Thanksgiving, uh, but not everyone wants that. So we offered some alternate recipes this year. We offered recipes for an Italian uh, style meal and then recipes for a Filipino style meal. Now I have to ask you, are any of these right out of your recipe book? Uh, yes, the Filipino ones. And what kind of things do you make? Uh, these were uh, these recipes are chicken adobo, and uh, lumpia, uh, pancit, and then a fruit salad recipe. Now I have to ask you, how did you get interested in making Filipino recipes? Oh, uh, we lived in Okinawa for five years, and our next door neighbors and very good friends um, were in the Navy, and she was from the Philippines, and she taught me a lot of recipes and cooking and traditions. So your family enjoys these? Oh, yes. Now, the thing I hate most about holiday cooking is cleaning up the mess, but the magazine has an alternative. Yes, going out to the de one of the defects. We do have the complete holiday schedule for the different dining facilities on post, and they spread out when they do their holiday meals, so you can actually go several days during the holiday week and get a different meal. I've been to the dining facility at Thanksgiving so many times. It's one of my family's favorites. And, you know, there's so many choices that you couldn't possibly eat them all in one sitting and get up and walk out. So, you know, we've gone on a Monday and tried the prime rib. And then maybe on Tuesday, we'll go back and have ham. Wednesday, you know, the traditional turkey and dressing. And of course, it seems there's always shrimp. And who doesn't love shrimp and cocktail <laughs> sauce? I love it. And you can have a different kind of pie. Everybody in the family can have their favorite because there's half a dozen different kinds of pie to eat. Without having to cook them all. My husband asked me last night, he said, what are we doing for Thanksgiving? I said, I want to go to a defect. <laughs> there you go. It's the perfect solution. And it also means that you don't have all of those leftovers in your refrigerator for the weeks after. No more turkey sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Now, the Eagle Challenge Fitness Tour is coming to a close this month, and I know that you have some information in the magazine about that, too. We do. Uh, we have information on the Culminator, which is the last event, the 10th event, and it's on the 16th uh, with the award ceremony on the 22nd. I think it's important for people to remember their fitness and their exercise as we go into these holiday eating periods, of course. But, um, you know, there are other things that happen at this time of year. Mid-year graduations happen, you know, at colleges. And a lot of our soldiers and family members are on non-traditional paths for education. There's an article about that, too. Uh, there is. The Education Center held the first graduation for the soldiers that are on these non-traditional paths. Uh, and this graduation, it gave the opportunity for these soldiers to, to walk their graduation, but it represented multiple schools and multiple disciplines uh, and multiple types of degrees. Yeah, you have people getting master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, associate's degrees from a bunch of different universities that aren't necessarily resident here at Fort Campbell, but it gave everybody a chance to have that great graduation ceremony. That feeling and their family could celebrate with them. Great stuff. Um, I know I love to listen to the 101st Band. 
And there's something in the magazine about that. But we do have an article about the 101st Band uh, and the different places uh, that they have played in the past and places that they hope to play uh, coming into the holidays. Uh, I know they're still working on that schedule. Yeah, I think that sometimes people don't realize that our soldier musicians are actually also soldiers too. Um, but they go into the military because they have an interest in music and the education to do that professionally, but they still have to do everything else that a soldier does. That's right. So, um, you know, that's pretty important stuff right there. Now, another thing we need to think about at this time of year is how we're going to keep the kids busy, especially our middle school and high schoolers. I'm bored. <laughs> oh, I hate to hear that. What's the solution? Um, well, we do have uh, an article from CYSAS about the middle school and teen program that you can find at Taylor Youth Center, uh, the different activities. And we do keep a list of those activities uh, on our Facebook page now. Um, I know another thing that people often encounter at the holidays is a depression or moodiness, and um, Tara has a great article about how to deal with that. Uh, right. It's, uh, she called it, Why Do Moody? Uh, because there are alternatives to feeling down. Uh, and she gives some tips for that. One of them is to stay hydrated. Now, I know a lot of people do something they shouldn't do when they're down, and that's go shopping. Uh, yeah, uh, shopping therapy. Uh, we do have a good article from Financial Readiness, and it's how so it's on some tips on how to combat your holiday debt. Uh, maybe not get as much holiday debt to start with, and if you do, how to get it taken care of fast enough. Sounds like this is a jam-packed full issue that's just leading into the right time of the year. Thanks so much for bringing all this information to oh, us. Oh, you're welcome, and thanks for having me. I'm sure we'll have you back again soon. All right. Don't forget to pick up a copy of the NWR Family, Single Soldier, or Retiree Life magazines, or you can view it online at www.fortcampbellmwr.com, and we'll be right back after the break. Fort Campbell's Gear to Go is your one-stop shop for equipment rental needs. We are the premier facility for leisure time and party rentals, too. We have equipment from boats and campers to motorcycle trailers and garden equipment. If you're moving across town, Gear to Go has the equipment to make the transition easy. We have trucks, vans, and SUVs. Gear to Go also has car haulers, cargo trailers, and dollies. Want to rent a boat but you don't have a big truck to pull it? We offer a 10% discount when renting a vehicle with a towable item, so you can take one of our boats out for a weekend of fun in the sun. We also have all the party gear that will make your next backyard bash the talk of the neighborhood. Gear to Go has inflatables and bouncers such as obstacle courses and water slides. We also have chairs, tables, grills, and even dunking booths. We offer an extreme party package that includes two inflatables plus our climbing wall for just one low price. Contact us at 270-798-3919 or visit our website at fortcampbellmwr.com. Your one-stop equipment and party rental shop. That's gear to go. Call or stop by today. Fort Campbell MWR, serving soldiers, families, retirees, and civilians. Looking for a unique gift for that special someone? Fort Campbell's MWR Engraving Etc. can personalize awards, plaques, trophies, and specialty gifts to show your appreciation in a memorable way. They accept walk-in requests as well as orders via fax or email. Engraving Etc. is located inside the Gannett Arts and Crafts Center next to Wilson Theater. For more information and price quotes, please call 270-798-0171. Fort Campbell MWR, serving soldiers, families, retirees, and civilians. Craving a big lunch for a small price? Then come to the Doghouse, Fort Campbell MWR's only restaurant on Campbell Army Airfield. For less than $5, try our famous footlong hot dogs, such as the New York Dog, Coney Dog, Carolina dog, Chicago dog, and our signature one-of-a-kind macho dog. Topped with chili, cheese, tomatoes, peppers, onions, jalapenos, and coleslaw. Check out our sandwiches, fried specialties, and other delicious items. The Dog House, your fast and tasty lunch stop. Fort Campbell MWR, serving soldiers, families, retirees, and civilians. Welcome back, and thanks for staying tuned to MWR Life on Air. If you'd like more information on family and MWR events and activities, you can check out our website or our Facebook page. Pick up the latest copy of the MWR Family, Single Soldier, or Retiree Life magazines, or call our 24-hour recorded information line. You can join our text club by texting the letters MWR to 68683, and listen to our radio program on 1400 AM at 8 o'clock in the morning, or 105.1 FM at 8.30 on Friday mornings. Programs also rebroadcast on Fridays at 12.30 PM on 1400 AM WJZM. 
You can listen to Talk with Tara every Friday at 10 a.m. on 1400 a.m. and Rendezvous Radio at 1 p.m. Download the Winamp or Shoutcast apps to listen to the broadcast on your smartphone. To receive weekly information to your inbox, go to fortcampbellmwr.com and click on the MWR eNews icon. This will take you to the MWR eNews registration page. You'll start receiving the electronic newsletter the following week. I'm Melissa Schaffner. Thanks for watching MWR Life on Air. We're supporting soldiers, families, retirees, and civilians with quality of life, events, and activities. We are your network of services. We'll see you next week. Let your voice be heard. Get involved with BOSS, better opportunities for single soldiers. Whether you're new to the Army, in a new place, or back from deployment, let your voice be heard. Quality of life, community service, recreation and leisure, three pillars that guide this outstanding program. Join your fellow single soldiers. Get active with BOSS. Learn more at boss.armymwr.com. BOSS, the voice of the single soldier. Let your voice be heard.